It happened because of a Facebook algorithm. Uh, uh, the government wanted to pass some new tax laws that no one was paying attention to. They were discussed in little chat groups on Facebook. Uh, more and more people joined the Facebook algorithm, kicked in. It went into Facebook's news feed. And for those people who read Facebook here in France, it spread like wildfire. And this is what we have. And that's also the reason why we have no leaders here, which, by the way, is nothing new historically in France when you have <coughs> demonstrations such as this, like the uh, demonstrations back in the 19th century in the 1830s and in 1871, which were the two biggest demonstrations with barricades and violence and actually tens of thousands of people arrested, tens of thousands of people murdered, all over economic issues, by the way, similar mm -hmm. to today. There were no leaders back then, and there are no leaders now. Just a lot of angry voices. Exactly. And, and that's what makes it all the more uh, challenging, I would say, for Macron. But yet, uh, Macron has um, answered one of their, uh, their demands. So why are they still on the streets for a fourth consecutive week? Because uh, the demonstrators say is because President Emmanuel Macron remains hiding in the Elysee Palace. They want to speak with him. They do not want to speak with his prime minister, Edouard Philippe, who he keeps sending out. Uh, Macron uh, is acting like the French imperial president uh, that, uh, that he is. The uh, uh, protesters are saying he's aloof uh, and uh, is acting morally superior. That's one of the phrases they use. Mm -hmm. And what happens classically here in France, Maria, is when there's a national problem that get out, gets out of control, as this one might well do, the president of France will get rid of the prime minister and install a new one. Uh, so uh, Edouard Philippe's uh, lifespan as prime minister uh, might be shorter than he might think. And on top of that, the protesters are saying, we want to talk to Macron, but Macron, who won because he talked to people, is staying behind uh, the gates of the Elysee Palace, and he's not talking to anyone.